Hi, I'm Edward Bullock and I'm going to demonstrate how to measure a course using Strides Course Design 2021 or Strides 21 for short. So I've got a little course here which I've created and I'm about to measure the first round. So once I've got the course set, it is just simply clicking on the button for the measuring wheel. Here we, it's um, been prompted to give the speed for this course and so now we've got a distance of 551 meters. Now as you know this is a computer program predicting where the track goes so it's not always going to be correct so here we have the option to adjust the course to make sure it doesn't go over jumps it actually either goes inside or around jumps and so we can click on the blue boxes to make it make the track go wider or tighter depending on what you wish to do so here I'm making the course just a little bit tighter and and other parts may be a little wider depending on where I expect the horses to go so at this stage we've also got the option to make the turn wider or you could make the actual approach longer so here I'm happy with this track. I might just make these just a fraction. I just feel it looks a little bit better with a slightly shorter approach and a wider turn. But it really varies on depending on the actual course you set. So here I've set the track I'm happier with. And you can see it's knocked off 19 meters off the course. Okay, if I wanted to create a jump off, so it always pays to save regularly. So to create a jump off, I click on the timer button and it produces a jump off. Usually just gives a few seconds for it to pop up. And the jump off I've got here, one that I'd normally set for lower levels, where it's based more on turns rather than galloping flat out high levels. It's always nice to have a combination of both. So here I've set a little jump off course, nice and simple. And to measure the jump off, again, I get prompted what speed I want to use. So again, I'll go 350, but I can use a different speed for the jump off. Okay, one thing I forgot to do is put the finish flags at the end. So it just ask me to put that there. And once I put the flags, the course will want to measure to that. To have a look at the jump off turn, we can just reset the, we click the second course. So again, we can adjust some of these corners a little better, just to make them look a bit more realistic and where you can expect the horse to go. So as you can see, I'm just moving that in, so it's not in the way of the jump, and then moving this a little wider. Even though in a jump off turn, they'll probably be turning pretty quick after that jump. And then I measure it again. And here we have it. I did see the first round. I didn't really like the look of that corner. So just move that in just to make it look a little better. Okay, there we have it. So if you're interested in reading more, please visit my website, strides.co.nz. And read more about Strides 21 and other course design software that I've available. Thank you.